I'm going to tell you about a number that's cooler than pi, more mysterious than the golden ratio, weirder than E or I. Somehow in recent times we seem to have forgotten about just how incredible this number is, yet many ancient cultures knew of it. Some even worshipped it. It was known to Pythagoras, Ptolemy, and Zeno of Elia. It was independently discovered in East Asia, and there's even evidence that the Aztecs were aware of it. It's pretty different from most other numbers you've heard of, but today's mathematicians are becoming increasingly fascinated by this ancient concept, and I want to bring back into the common knowledge how cool, how amazing this number really is. A fitting name for this number is the obsolete Greek letter digamma, which originally represented a W sound and was called wow. Trying to write wow in decimal notation is, I think, a misleading exercise which distracts from the nature of the number itself. One difficulty is that there's actually more than one way to represent it as an infinite decimal. But wow can be defined in some unconventional ways. Take this unusual fractal fraction. How would you find out what this equals? Let's see if it converges to something. If you had just one layer, it'd be 2 over 4, or 1 half. Take two layers, and it's three-fourths, plus one-fourth, that's four-fourths, so this is two over one, or just two. Add another layer, that's three over one, plus one over one, two over four again. And for any finite number of layers, it will be one of those. But it turns out, if you continue this fraction on to infinity, you get neither two over one, nor one over two, but the curious number wow. Here's another way to write wow. Wow equals 5 sixths plus all over 6, 5 sixths plus all over 6, 5 sixths plus all over 6, 5 sixths, and so on. This infinite fractal quality of wow lets you do some really crazy stuff. Take this. Wow to the wow to the wow to the wow. But this is wow times wow. It's all wow times wow. I don't even know how to pronounce this, but infinite fractal exponentiation of wow loops back and equals wow. I mean, that's just wow. And wow does have an intimate relationship with other special numbers. Check this out. Wow to the pi, to the wow to the 2 pi, to the wow to the 4 pi, to the wow to the 8 pi, and so on, equals wow times square root wow times cube root wow times and so on. I mean, this isn't much more mind-boggling than thinking about what might happen if you try to raise a number to an imaginary power. Speaking of which, e to the 2i pi equals wow. Relatedly, you can find wow in calculus. The derivative of e to the wow equals wowie. And e to the i to the e i o is e to the wow to the tau wow wow. You might be tempted to try and solve these things using logarithms, but when you try to take log base wow, it kind of doesn't work. It's like dividing by zero. Cool, right? People talk about the geometry of the golden ratio as if it's special, but it's actually pretty normal. Normal numbers, you can make a rectangle with that proportion just fine. Make the proportion wow and, well, you get something that most people wouldn't call a rectangle, unless you're a mathematician and being technical, but if x and y are the size of a wow rectangle, meaning if x over y is wow, then x plus x to the y over y plus y to the x equals wow. And now if I take the previous two, x to the x to the y, and down here, y to the y to the x, this equals wow. And if I make the next term take just the previous two, x to the y to the x to the x to the y, and y to the x to the y to the y to the x, this also equals wow. And you can keep going and get these non-repeating patterns related to the Fibonacci sequence. And this will all work out to wow for any numbers x and y, where x over y is wow. Yeah, wow is awesome. You can make an equiangular spiral when you make the angle phi as you go around and get a golden spiral. Pretty straightforward. But wow is such a weird number. If you try and make the angle wow, then the spiral curls up infinitely on itself, collapsing and entangling like a quantum string. Wow, in fact, shows up in physics too. E to the wow divided by mc squares equals wow squared. And wow shows up everywhere in nature. I mean everywhere. Every single flower or tree you see embodies wow. But instead of going on about that, I'll just give you one more crazy concept. Just imagine that you took a number to the power of a number to the power of a number. 
all the way to infinity and then beyond infinity, so far that it came back down and became the number's root of the number's root of the number's root of all the way past infinity until it gets back around to the beginning. It's not a notion that even makes sense according to standard mathematics, but if you make this number wow, it actually becomes possible to argue that all this equals one. What amazing properties of wow can you come up with?